The manifest file is the first step to make your web page into an application. In this screencast, I will show you how to create one and I will explain what each field means inside the manifest. Turning an HTML page into a Firefox OS app is very easy. All you need is a manifest file. A manifest file is a JSON file that describes your application. It has to be named manifest.webapp and has to go at the root folder of your application. In my editor, you can see the manifest file for our to-do app. At the top, we have fields like name or description, and the third field is launch path. The launch path is the main HTML file for our application, the one that will be launched at startup. Every application needs icons, so here we describe a 128 by 128 icon and the path that leads to it. There are more fields, such as developer, which contains meta information about the company or developer that has made the app. Under developer, we have the locale field. Locales describe the languages in which this app will be available. In this case, we have the app available in English and Spanish. And underneath the locale field, we have the default locale field, which determines what language will be the default when this app is installed for the first time. The last field is a permission field. In this case, we only give permission to desktop notification. Now let's see our settings in action in a real Firefox OS environment. For this, we switch to the App Manager in the Firefox desktop browser, and we add our packaged app. Here we can already see that some of the fields we added in our manifest are showing up. We have the icon, the name, and the description, and the creator of the app. Now we will update the app in the simulator and see if everything went well. The app has been installed, now we launch it, and it seems to work. But you might have noticed that this still looks like a web app, mainly because the status bar at the top still shows. So we're going to get rid of this status bar by tweaking a field in the manifest file. First, we close the app. And now in the editor, we add the field full screen and we set it to true. That should make our status bar at the top go away and make our app behave like a full screen app. We go back to the app manager, we update the application, and it should be updated in the simulator. When we open our app, the status bar is gone. So if you want to know more about the manifest file and what fields can go in it, you can visit the Mozilla wiki and see a list of all the possible fields that you can use to tweak different aspects of your app.